Hello guys, this is Maman Sadiq. Welcome to new video tutorial. In this tutorial, we gonna learn about cellulets with Maven. Or we can say that how to convert a cellulet project into Maven project. So, why we use Maven? Because there are some advantages of Maven in project. I would like to share with you guys. It gives us the ability and quick solution for building a project or developing a pro deploying a project. So it 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 also provides dependency management for managing all dependencies at one place in a single file. There are some steps to follow creating cellulite with Maven. Let's try. Go to new and select dynamic project. Here you can say hello solvet uh, create just solvet. Okay, hello solvet is created. Here is the directory structure of this project. It's a simple dynamic project okay so let's explore other directories in it this is a meta inf and web inf in web inf it is only just lab so we need another file like a deployment descriptor file so we can here go to the sources uh, java double e tool to generate deployment descript descriptor stuff here now it is generated here what is what is this file let's describe it it is a configuration file which is deployed to the server we can configure cellulite with its mapping or uh, its url mapping here you can find the display name element. It is the display name of cellulet as application name and welcome file list. It is a file list. It as always expect some of uh, some of welcome file or default files in it. Okay, you, you we can say that we can see that there is isn't any of the file one of file one of them. So we can add another file in it. So let's create index file for as a welcome file here. We can create JSP file. Name it index. Right here a title. Hello servlet and write something mm, in paragraph like welcome to welcome to servlet it is index file so let's start this on server run is on server here next We, we just de deploy this project on the server so hello solid is there let it be started now it is started ok so welcome to solid so it means it is index file is a welcome file list so we know that index.jsp is welcome file list okay we can delete we can uh, delete other files as well just leave jsp file index.jsp file it always pick from here in web content so having created jsp file now it is time to create cellulet dot java file 
minute so here we can create here solvate just name it hello solvate and finish it toss then here the file is created in source and java resources and hello solvate so we can write the code here for output just here write the code hello servlet i i have put the hello word just in paragraph okay so let's run it server again I have deployed this file again and it, it will go to the welcome file again just copy the URL what was the URL the hello word because here is web servlet annotation it always tell the mapping of this servlet file so we have added here hello servlet it works fine so this is another this is a uh, way to map a servlet there is another way like uh, we can say uh, just we can define a servlet over here in web.xml file how it does work how it would work that we can add we can create another class like uh, just a simple class which, which extends HTTP servlet here okay another servlet another servlet we will add this entry in web xml file okay Th this is another way to create a servlet just create finish here is the class we can we can add these function these functions in it to do get and do post here we can copy the, these functions and paste here over here or uh, extend the uh, extend it okay then uh, copy this HTTP servlet here and extends set here the extends 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 to HTTP servlet and uh, put all the import files here over here so I have just created another servlet and now it's time to hello servlet another servlet we can say that another servlet here so we need to just put put here in the entry of servlet servlet here is the servlet and with the name servlet name we can uh, say that uh, another servlet okay then the class class servlet class okay the class is the same as it this file name okay and put this here and let's it's time to map map servlet mapping some mapping here we can have servlet name the same name of the servlet copy that file servlet put here okay so uh, now it's time to map url pattern we can add and other servlet another servlet this is a url which which will be map it just copy or uh, uh, just uh, stop server again stop it and run it, it again and server So let's put another server servlet URL here. Hello another servlet. Let's convert this project into the Maven project. Here we are 
following these steps go to the configure and convert to the maven project here are the some uh, things to define the project project name and uh, uh, the artifact id which is the unique file id the group id which is unique group id identifier for for group of our projects this is artifact id which is unique identifier for our of this project and this is a version version of my this project and packaging packaging the out always give us the output or uh, creating for uh, file for deployment here is the name 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 which is the full name of our, our project and description of full description of our project we create it and you, you will find this pom file over here and this is a pom file we can say that this is a root element project is a root element and model version model is a uh, maven 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 version and the model uh, group id so group id which is servlet name and artifact id which is artifact so our project artifact id now version and this is the build which will we will create build and uh, plugins we will add the pl plugins for compiler using the source from point add thank you guys please subscribe at my youtube channel for more videos and tips if if do you have any query or question feel free to ask in comments i will be pleased to answer you as soon as possible thank you bye bye